What if I told you that the most powerful new AI image editor is free and open source? It's called HiDream E1.1, and right now, it's outperforming almost all commercial models, even the most renowned ones. Today, I'll explain why this model is making waves. We'll also look at how to install it so you can use it locally and stay until the end because we'll also explore a free, unlimited version you can run from a website. All of this comes after the installation in the second part of this video. Let's get started. HiDream E1.1 is an AI-powered image editing model that just launched and is already leading the open source rankings. It surpasses Flux Context by over 60 points on the yellow scale, according to the Artificial Analysis Table. This makes it the best free and open source editor available right now. The best part? You don't need to pay anything to access professional quality results. To use HiDream E1.1, you'll need to access it through Comfy UI. The process is simple if you follow these steps. First, make sure you already have Comfy UI installed. If you don't know how, you can install it with Pinocchio. I'll leave a link below so you can see how to do it. Next, go to the official GitHub repository. Here, you'll see that the HiDream E1 Bot 1 model has already been released. You can follow the instructions here and use HiDream E1 Bot 1 via the Gradio demo. However, if you don't have a massive amount of VRAM, you'll likely encounter a memory error because the full version of HiDream isn't quantized. Instead, we'll use this interface optimized for Comfy UI. I'll include the link in the video description. Here, we'll go to the HiDream section where all the files are located. Under Split Files, you'll see three folders. Navigate to the Text Encoders folder and you'll see the models we need to download. We'll download these four files and place them in the Comfy UI Models folder on the Text Encoded. We also need the ClipL Hydream Tensor file, which we'll download and place in the same folder. Next, we'll download the Llama 3.1 file, which is 9GB, and the T5XL file, 5GB, placing both in the Text Encoded folder. Now, go back to the previous folder and navigate to the VAE folder. Here, we'll download the AE tensor file and place it in the Comfy UI Models VAE folder. The last thing to download is the HiDream E1.1 model itself. In the Diffusion Models folder, you'll find all the models. Note that some models weigh up to 34 gigabytes, so they need more than 32 gigabytes of VRAM to run. We'll use quantized versions created by user ND911, who offers different variants of HiDream E1.1 depending on your VRAM size. The naming convention uses Q2, Q3, Q4, etc., which describes how quantized or compressed the model is. Q2 is super compressed at 6 GB, Q3 is less compressed at 8 GB, and so on up to Q8 which weighs almost 19 GB. The more compressed the model, the greater the quality sacrifice, but it adjusts to your available VRAM. For example, I have a NVIDIA RTX 3080 graphics card with 16 GB of VRAM, so I'll use a Q4 or Q5 version. The letters L, M, S at the end stand for large, medium, or small sizes. Once you have all models and files downloaded, go to Comfy UI and click Update Comfy UI to update all dependencies and files. After updating, restart Comfy UI to ensure you're using the latest version. You need the workflow for HiDream 1.1. The good news is that Comfy UI allows you to drag and drop existing workflows into your interface. So, if we go to the users page, you'll find the uploaded pre made workflows with all node specifications. Download the workflow and drag it into your Comfy UI interface. We are now inside Comfy UI, so you can see the complete model installation. We drag it here, and as you can see, the entire interface is already set up for you to use. We have the first node, which loads the original model. 
and here in the second step is an optimized model loader, which we don't need in this case. Keep in mind this node isn't connected to anything, so we don't need to worry about it. Next, we load the models we just downloaded. We click to expand the menu and select the model. In my case, I'll select the code Q5 model I downloaded. Then, in the clip downloader, I'll select first the clip G Hydream. For the second one, I will select clip L Hydream. And for the third, I will select this scale T5XL model. Finally, for the fourth one, we select this Lama 318 model. Remember, these files are the ones I basically downloaded into my text encoder folder. For the VAE, we also click this drop-down menu and select AE Save Tensors, which was one of the first files I downloaded. And that's practically all we need. Just make sure you have the files downloaded in the correct locations. Here, we can simply put in the prompt and we can also upload images to edit here. I generally try not to change these settings and leave them as default. But let's quickly review some important values. For example, CFG controls how literally it follows your prompt, how precisely you want the AI to manipulate your final image, capturing the details. Image CFG adjusts how much it respects the details of the original image. Here, we can also upload images to edit. These boxes for case sampler, select and VAE scheduler are the algorithms used to edit or generate the image. Here, if you click in the drop-down menu, we have this list with different algorithmic methods. I generally leave them as they are, but you can also experiment with these different algorithms if you have time. Steps are the iteration count, how many times you want it to perform the guidance before generating the image. So, the more steps, the higher the resolution and quality of the image, but it will take much longer. And that's basically all we need to know before starting to generate the image using Confi UI. For example, we will upload this black and white image with scratches on it, and we will tell it to change this photo to have modern colored lighting and restore it completely. After a few minutes, we have our result. As you can see side by side, we have the scratched image and the restored image. The speed of this process depends mostly on the video card you have, as well as the algorithms and steps you set for generating the image. Now that we know the requirements needed to install High Dream on your computer, I want to introduce you to this much faster alternative. A free and unlimited option from the web. You just need to go to highdream.org and register with your Gmail account. Once inside, we see the available options. This version doesn't edit images. Instead, it only generates images from text using a prompt. For example, we put make me a minimalist living room setting in a minimalist style. And after a couple of seconds, we have these different versions related with the prompt of a minimalist environment that we can use as reference. So if we want to add some of these reference prompts, we simply click the plus icon. And this way we add the prompts given here as examples. Once the image is generated, it has this option to improve the resolution or upscale, which is also free. If we click upscale, it takes us to another window where we can increase the quality without paying anything. It also has a tool that automatically removes the background in case there is a person in your image. But be careful, as I said before, this is not an image editor. I already tried uploading an image from my local computer to test the upscaler or background removal, and it didn't work. I think it's because in the free version, you cannot edit images uploaded from your computer. And if you want to try other models available here, you have to pay. When you upgrade to the premium version, these other tools are activated, such as uploading your own images, applying styles, and using more advanced models. And don't forget, if you're interested in accessing more advanced tools like video generation with the latest models like VEO or Seed Dance, you can access this Freebits page where you can claim the discount link in the description below this video.
There, you will receive a special discount for my subscribers. I also invite you to watch this other video where I explain how to create music videos with a single click using that Freebits tool, which is very easy to use and very powerful. That's all for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell so you get notifications for the new videos I'll be making. And remember, the AI we are living today is just the beginning. The best is yet to come. See you next time. Bye bye.